You know what you should do? You should follow me on Twitter at Bromo018. Link in the description. Do it now. Hello guys, welcome along to another video. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I hope all of you are doing well. With the release of PES 2020, I wanted to release a tutorial video um, showing any PC players, because uh, I personally play the game on PC, so that's what I'll be able to show you on how to um, you know, install your option files. And for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, an option file is provided by um, there's many websites. I personally use PES Universe. Uh, and in, in that option file, is contains um, a range of different you know official kits um, logos you know badges all the team names and stuff etc competition logos etc um, and you know it really it will load all of them onto the game it's available for PC and also PS4 as well unfortunately Xbox doesn't support the feature um, and that's why I personally choose to play on PC instead um, but yeah, it's really good. It just improves the uh, the experience by absolute a million million miles. So uh, I want to show you guys a tutorial on how to install that option file for PC players only. Um, and you know we can go through. I haven't done it yet, so I'm going to go along and do it with you guys as well. I've already gone ahead and downloaded WePez. If you're using Pez Universe like I am, um, you want to go onto the uh, to one of the hubs, which is available up here. You can get a membership five pound or, or ten pound something along those lines. Um, for whether you want to be a silver or gold member, they will be out for free soon, um, but not yet. There probably are other websites that are doing for free. I'm not sure whether or not they do the same service. Uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so you want to go onto the gold hub and then I'll person click on this one here, Ubamiang, and you download the PC v1 file. So what you should have is then um, have this available, this WePES folder. You want a, a program that will extract files, so something like WinZip, which is what I personally use, WinRAR, 7-Zip something along those lines so I'm going to open this up here bear in mind that I've already pre-created a folder if we go onto my desktop here already pre-created a PC option file v1 folder just do that just um, as a layer of extra support really um, so we're going to open this up what we're going to do is we're going to unzip this um, to if we go onto the desktop now you'll see where I start on PC option one option file v1 folder um, go into that and then we're going to extract them to there. shouldn't take too long actually, depending of course on uh, on your system and stuff. Absolutely loads and loads of files going into it really. As you can see here, we've got a Serie B, Serie A, uh, we've got La Liga, Championship and Premier League to start off with as well. They'll also be doing the likes of the uh, Bundesliga as well. That's not part of the V1 I don't think, um, but we will. We will hopefully have that soon. So you will have extracted that now. And um, if we click on that, you should have all of these um, available. So what you're going to want to do then is open a second uh, folder, File Explorer. And then you want to go into Documents and find Konami folder. So you want to click on the Konami folder. This should be in Documents. It should be on your Quick Access tab. Um, and then... Go into eFootball PES 2020, and then you want to click on the WePES folder. It should be empty, as you see. One thing that I should bear in mind that I should let you guys know of before we go into this, make sure that you've actually started the game before you do this. So make sure you've gone onto the, uh, gone to the game, created your uh, user data and stuff like that. Otherwise, I'm not sure the WePES folder will actually show up. Just forgot to mention, guys, sorry for cutting off halfway through. Um, so one thing I wanted to mention is, depending on if you are using PES Universe and stuff, there will be more along the way. So I mentioned the Bundesliga already. More leagues will have option files along the way. There will be different versions and stuff, as you'll see here, V2, V3, etc. More classic option files and stuff, classic kits, etc. So um, this is only the first basis V1, just so it's there for release. Um, just so you wanted to... Uh, just get that information so um, if we go back to our folders and stuff as you can see we've got this uh, PC option file v1 uh, and also we've got WePez in our documents so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to highlight these and copy and paste you don't want to drag them you actually want to copy and paste and the reason is just so you have that backup as well of course if you drag them over you'll still only have that one copy and that will be in the WePez folder. In this case, you do have a backup plan if, if anything did happen to go wrong, etc. So, copy and paste them in. Wait for them to import as they have done. Um, which is good. 
I need to exit Steam and then reload it as well, just to uh, make sure as well. And then after that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start the game. So I'm going to enter the game and then I'll be back with you in a moment. So welcome back everyone, we are now on to the main menu of PES 2020 and once you're on here, you're going to want to scroll along to the right hand side and go on to settings and then click on uh, edit. If you're doing this for the first time, it will prompt you um, and ask if you want to create an edit data profile, yes you are going to want to do that. And then you go through, um, once you've done that it should bring you on to this menu here. Now you're going to want to uh, go down to import export if you're doing this for the first time it's going to take you through a quick tutorial where you import one um, pez united logo uh, and kit and etc that's fine you can go through do that it will help you to learn how to do it in the future anyway if, if that's what if that's what you want but um yeah so go through and do that first and then afterwards you'll come on to here go on to import export and now you're going to want to import team first of all and it should load up all the files that uh, we had in that folder earlier so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select all files because i'm uh, a bit ocd like i personally go through and deselect um, all the clubs that are already partnered and licensed on the game so man united and arsenal are an example also uh say like barcelona uh, and juventus as well uh, we're gonna tick them off uh, and then Let's go through and do it. Otherwise, all the teams are here. If you're not picky like me, then just, just select all files. I really don't think it will make any difference whatsoever. Um, and then, so go to go to uh, detailed settings right at the top. And then you're going to want to select that. When it says here about applying player and squad data, overwriting image files of the same name, you don't need to do that if it's V1. So uh, there should be no need to do that whatsoever so just click ok and then it's go going to go through and it's going to import every image so i'm going to be back with you shortly um, to show you what to do next after this stage so welcome back guys uh it's now finished importing data you should have this message here you're going to want to click ok and then you come back onto here now we have the competitions badges to import as well so you're going to want to go on to import competition and it's really um just the same the same uh, again really it's going to load all the badges and stuff and the logos through to the competitions you're going to want to go to detailed settings and because it's version one do not tick this box you know don't want to overwrite images of the same file name uh, and then you're going to want to click ok and it's going to go through and do these as well uh, we're we'll back again in a moment just to have a look afterwards so welcome back guys this is now uh, finished importing and now we're going to have a look and see how it works afterwards so if you want to go on to the competitions first of all you have a look here uh the champions league stuff europa league all the logos are on there which is absolutely great uh going down to the likes of england premier league skybet championship and stuff all the fa cup uh is on there as well um going over to the to holland and stuff you got all the uh the era de Vesey, that was already licensed etc uh spain you got la liga um all licensed in there now if you want to go through to the teams as well you'll see if we go through let's go to the premier league for example all of the teams on there are now um, nice and shiny the badges on there um, the names as well edited so you don't have the uh, the rb or whatever on the end um and stuff and then click on one just everton at random have a look at the um the kits go on to this one there we go there we have it First kit there, second kit, the away kit as well on here. Absolutely brilliant and a great job this year, Pez Universe have. Um, so going through again, like I say, they are all on here now, which is great to see. Um, so yeah, that's about it really, guys. Hope you have all uh, enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Let me know, get at me in the comment section if you have any questions. I'll do my best to uh, answer all of them and respond to any uh, queries you might have. Uh, but we are going to round it off there though if you've enjoyed this video and you found this uh, content helpful then please do um, leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more regular content got a pez 2020 manchester united master league series coming up asap so do be sure to check that out and on that note we are going to round it off there so i'm brown 18 and i'll see you soon Come on.